bigger and more aggressive type of yellow jacket is now here in Connecticut. News 8's Jane Chaco talk with an expert about what you need to know if you run into these things. She is live for us in Hartford with more. Jane. Well, Darren, they're called Southern Yellow Jackets, and typically you'd find them in the southeastern part of the country. But experts say summers are getting warmer here, so you'll probably see them soon. Norman Patterson Jr. calls himself the Yellow Jacket Expert. For 35 years, he has organically removed nests like this one. He uses a vacuum to put them in a jar, keeping them alive, to then give to a medical lab. We watched him take care of a nest at a home in Avon. This is, this is what the inside of a hornet nest, a southern yellow jacket nest, looks very similar to this. About three years ago, he was doing a similar job when he noticed one of the nests were angrier than the others. And all of a sudden, I saw this one nest in the ground, and it was very aggressive, a very big nest, and I thought, this, this doesn't feel right. Something's wrong here. He says it was a southern yellow jacket nest. He removed a handful of them last year, finding yeah, another one in orange. What a weird looking thing. And they were just huge and there was paper all over there and it just looked kind of like something out of Halloween. Patterson says he encountered about 15 southern yellow jacket nests this summer. He says this strain is more aggressive and larger than the ones we're used to seeing in Connecticut. These are the yellow jackets he removed from the nest, and these will sting you once and then fly away. But southern yellow jackets will sting you multiple times, relentless. But I have personally felt the pain of the aggression of southern yellow jackets. And I tell you, when you disturb their nests by mowing over them or banging its vibration that bothers them, they will come screaming out of that nest. So how do you know if you have a nest in your home? What people need to look for is the consistent traffic to one spot. That tells you that there's a nest that's in the hole, a hole in the ground. If you have a big nest, the best thing to do is call an expert so they can safely remove it. <laughs> And the good news here in Connecticut is that yellow jackets and wafts usually die in the winter. So if you find a nest later this year, Patterson says you could just leave it. He also adds that he has to do more research to find out where exactly they're making their nests and how long they'll stay here in our state. Live in Hartford, Jane Chaco, News 8.